Do bosses made a bet? The loser has to give half of his fortune to his employees. As an employee of this company, you'll get a few million dollars for no reason. Wouldn't you wake up laughing in your dreams? Paul and Anton are best friends. They grew up together, but their personalities are completely different. Anton always wears a big back and a small suit. He's very disciplined. He's always having fun with all the girls. Paul doesn't pay much attention to his appearance. He likes to go on shopping sprees. In his spare time, he's in love with his cell phone girlfriend. The girlfriend here is not an online dating partner. It's an app they developed. The function is actually quite awesome, but the investors just didn't like it. But Anton didn't give up. He gave a PowerPoint presentation. The content is to record Paul's crazy shopping habits through his cell phone. It's kind of like big data. The big boss boss behind the camera, immediately smelled a business opportunity, decided to invest $30 million. Finally, we've made it. The company threw a party at night. We had a great time, but Paul was sulking because he was called a shopaholic. During his presentation, he didn't like being called that. Anton asked him to come up and say something to the staff. It turned into an exchange of insults between the two of them. In the end, Paul challenged himself to get rid of his shopaholic persona. Paul challenged Anton to a game. The loser has to give half of his money to the staff. The employees on stage were overjoyed. Under Paul's provocations and the coaxing of the motivated staff, Anton, who was slightly drunk, accepted the challenge. The next day, Paul woke up and found himself naked. The house was empty. Everything was gone. The same thing happened to Anton upstairs. Paul thought he'd been robbed and suggested calling the police. We found out from Anton yesterday. They got drunk and gambled more and more. The end result is to start from zero. 100 days of minimalist living. Every day at dawn, they can only retrieve one thing. When they sobered up, they talked it over. They'd better renege, right? But the employees are ruthless. We have to compete internally. As long as you hold out long, the one who loses money is the other one. Finally, it's the wee hours of the morning. It's snowing heavily outside. The first goal is to get some clothes to keep warm. Originally, they planned to go by car, but this time it was their first item. They had to run instead. Their stuff was piled up in a mess. They managed to find two pieces of clothing. That's when Lucy showed up. She answered a phone call and left. The two of them were staring straight at her. Now the brothers do not know. They will break up because of this girl. They're going to be completely cut off from this girl. What's it like to be so simple that you don't have any clothes to wear? The house is empty. Paul sleeps on the floor wrapped in a coat. No computer, no cell phone. When he's bored, he just stares. When he's tired, he takes a nap or lick the window to feel the cold of the northeast. Downstairs, our good friend Anton has a plan. They can only retrieve one thing a day. Anton had prioritized them on the board. Paul's first thought when he saw the board was, Where did you get the chalk? Foul play. Yes, they're competing to see who's more minimalist. All the food comes from the company refrigerator. They just brush their teeth in the company bathroom. And so the days went by. One by one, they got their stuff back. Anton got his big, comfy bed back. Paul got back the cell phone he'd been longing for. Finally, he could talk to his cell phone girlfriend. He was so happy when the battery died because he didn't have a charger. It was a tight squeeze, but work and life went on. After the video conference with the investors, I had to go to my grandma's house to help change a light bulb. At night, when I was picking up some stuff from the warehouse, I met Lucy again. She seems to be interested in this kind of minimalist life. Anton took the opportunity to get close and asked for a date. Lucy agreed. The next thing you know, both brothers have a problem. Paul was stuck in an infinite time loop. If he doesn't pay, he can't get online. Without internet, he can't pay. It never ends. For a cell phone addict, it's hell. Anton had a bad eye infection because he couldn't afford to change his contact lenses, but he couldn't miss his first date. He finally changed his pants into glasses. When Lucy saw it, she almost thought she was abnormal, but then it went well. Help eye drops to cultivate feelings. The two of them were together without shame. Lucy's only condition was that she wouldn't allow him to follow her. That day, a big investor came to the company to discuss cooperation, but Anton temporarily increased the price. He tripled his offer. Everyone else was shocked, but the boss just smiled a little. No problem. Afterwards, Everyone was thrilled, except Paul. He thought it was an insult to his software, and it went against the grain of what he wanted to do for mankind. The fight between the two men got more and more heated, and finally, after slapping each other a dousing times, after slapping each other a dousing times, loser quits, winner takes all, and no more cell phones, no more company food, even a pair of chopsticks must be counted as to things. After that, the two of them held their breath. They had to walk both ways on a wide street, and Anton was comforted by Lucy. Paul was left alone that day. Paul ran into Lucy on the street and confessed that he was a shopaholic. He overspent and owed a lot of money. She moved to the warehouse to avoid debts and to cure her mental illness, hoping Paul would keep it a secret. But he told Anton in secret. At night, Anton secretly followed Lucy, but Lucy found him. Lucy is gone. What's it like to get rid of your cell phone and live a completely minimalist life? What kind of experience is it? 
After Lucy left, the warehouse was emptied of all the collateral. Anton Dink's paw reported it, and if Anton wants to find Lucy, he has to use his cell phone. Well, that makes Anton a loser. Anton thinks it's a cheap shot, and he was furious. He punched it away. A little friendship can't go down the drain. Hall was disappointed when... He got home, he found out from his mother that his grandmother had died because he didn't have his cell phone, he couldn't reach her. He missed his last chance to see her, he lost his important family and friends. This big boy finally couldn't hold it in any longer, he hugged his mother and shed tears. On the other hand, Anton also gave up his life. He picked up his cell phone to find Lucy's whereabouts, and Anton found her. He found out from him that Lucy had actually turned herself in. At this moment, Anton was dumbfounded. He didn't want to lose his good brother. Rushed to Paul's house and realized he missed his grandmother's funeral. And Paul went on a journey to heal. And that's when Anton found him. The only way a man can solve his problems is to fight. After a fight, they opened up to each other. It turned out that they both envied each other's lives. When they returned to the company, they announced that they both lost the challenge. And that they would divide the $100 million equally among all the employees. While everyone was excited about how to spend the money, one of the employees found out that the big boss had stolen their software and it had gone public earlier. The promised investment was gone. The two of them went bankrupt instantly. The employees left one after another. Everything seemed like a dream. In fact, Paul had already made a plan. He planted and bug in the software. As soon as it starts the program, the program will release information about the whoring of investment leaders. Nowadays, most people can't live without their cell phones. They want more and more things and neglect the good things around them. Beautiful people and things. Why don't you take a break to regain your inner peace?